Hi guys. I had a link given to me. I'm going to put it on the thumbnail. I've only watched a couple of minutes of it, so I can't vouch for it yet, but I vouch for the person who sent it to me. Anyway, I just realised that I had a memory a year ago on Facebook. So this is a video. It's about... Ooh, it's about infinity. It's about the loop track. Yeah, and it's got my dogs and it's just short. You'll love it. Um, it should play properly, but I can't hear the volume. Mm hmm. Don't know why. Okay, let's see if it plays the volume. This should be playing the volume. Okay, it's not. This is just my dog, Say sis, okay? It's working. Isn't that cute? Walking the Goldsboro track. Okay, Walk. so it's only about dogs, this, this channel. Walking the Goldsboro track. There's a loop track, um, you go to the Goldsboro campground, it's a steep track, go to the Goldsboro campground, you go up the German track, cross the road, cut off, come here, yellow, yellow, she just went right to the cliff, and then you come down the other side, now I forget what this one's called, <laughs> So 30 minutes up, like 20, 20 minutes across on the road, and 40 minutes straight down. It's hard walk up, but we're loving it, and we're staying to the track, aren't we, guys? We're staying to the track? Yeah. I had to carry. She jumped into my arms because there was a big high rock. She jumps into my arms now from the bed in the morning, and I'm still trying to train this one. He's hesitant to get in the car, so I give him a treat now, trying to. Plus, if they have good experiences in the car, like go to destinations like this, they're going to get better and better. Aren't ya? Hey? Say hi. Hi. Say hi, yellow. Fire, say hi. Fire, say hi. Fire. Oh, that's my chocolate bar in there. Fire. <laughs> Fire. Say hi. Hi. Glory now. Okay, so keywords, loop track, final destination. Now, the video, I want to link to this and I'll put it on the um, thumbnail. It has a picture of Jesus and he's holding his sword in his left hand. Confirmation. Um, I Like I said, I can't vouch for it. I haven't watched it all. Now, the Lord's just reminded me of this um, dream. The dogs are hungry. See? She wants her food. Do you want your food, Fire? Do you want some dinner? Mmm. Yes, she does. Do you want some dinner? Better get that dinner. Well, we must have just watched them, watching me, waiting for me to do the dinner. Um, so... It was after I had the dream where I saw the caravan get up here, the mountain, the impossible road. This is an impossible road where I am. To get up here was impossible. The Lord showed me. It was my courier being towed. And um, the father was driving. Jesus is a vehicle. You know all that. And the road was falling, uh, falling down on the way up. I remembered it. <clears throat> now, I have um, shared this, but not recent, so this is what I'm remembering. There's two parts to that dream. So it gets to a place, and this will make sense to me now. It gets to a place, and now, now I'm there with just the caravan is in, 
like a barn or a shed. It's in a shed, a workshop. And it is turned around facing forwards. The, the tow bar is facing front. But what I... That's where it is, right? Then I cut to... This is when I remember this dream. I am following Jonathan and he's on a trek, like Star Trek. It's like a tussocky walk and it's long and I just, I know it's long. And I'm walking behind him and then I just go, oh, I know this quicker way. And that's when I recall that the Lord's taken my caravan up and how he got there. And that it's actually sitting up there parked. And it's sort of boxed in, which is pretty much where it is now. Once I special <laughs> build this Escher house around it. But it's boxed into this... Um, shed, workshop. It's like the workshop I went to a couple of days ago. And the man... I got to park in the workshop with the courier and let the dogs out. They did a shit there. And that's when he gave me all those bits and pieces. It was pouring with rain. But he's got engineering things. He's done engineering. Right, but what was in front of the axle, what I knew, because I knew I was going, I was going to go and get the... Um, Click was going to the caravan. He was going to... This is his destination as well. But I knew this other way. I saw it being towed up by the father. And I knew where it was parked. So I was I was getting there. And that's how I got there. Because I'm the caravan, right? So I'm there. And I know what I do when I get there. I think there's a problem. Because there's like a, an engineering machine. Like it could ever be... Well, at first I thought it was like a grinder. You know, you have a heavy machinery and you bolt it to the ground. But I know it was a, I know it was an anvil. You know what you forge something on? You know, you put metal on it and hammer it. So it was an anvil. And it was in front of the tow bar. So it was out of, in the way to pull it out, the caravan. But I solved the problem by just unbolting it. And I had enough strength to push it out the way. And then I, because my caravan's on two wheels on an axle... The downside of that is it fishtails and I don't like driving it. It's one of the reasons why I don't cruise around in it. <coughs> and um, But I can pull it on my own. So I move the sample, I pull it on my own, and I hitch it to my courier. And that's what I remember when I'm following Click. That it's all there ready hitched up to go. And this, this is... A, this is the rapture. The courier and the caravan go up. So now, when you look at the link that I've been given by a trusted friend, I'll just say, because Billy Doisy, he doesn't say much, but he sent this. He's probably sent it to 100 people. Um, but I've got it. And I, I've only watched a couple of minutes, and I put the picture of Jesus on the screenshot. The man's wearing a pretty foolish looking shirt, which I love. It's not as bad as my overalls, but it's pretty bad. <laughs> we can wear what we want. So watch it. A, I'm sure it's going to be interesting. So this is the rapture. The, the, this is where Click's going, but he's going on a long trek. And I just, I don't know, I'm just, I took a shortcut because that's how the Lord showed me. We all get there our own way, okay? And the pictures speak, and I'm just sharing my testimony. But we've got more than that, really. Hopefully some people realise it's more than that. And uh, the other song that came up is Karen Carpenter. We've only just begun. So look at the lyrics, and remember that poor old Karen was a one-up, one-down. And my crush was... On the thumbnail, I, I still I've got a blank for his name, and there's a wee bit of writing by the the person who wrote that article saying he was his her favourite, but he doesn't know why. She doesn't know why. I know why. He's the best looking of all of them. 
thing is that I grew up my entire life not liking blondes. Always like dark hair. And it's ironic because God chooses everything. And we chose my angel Gabriel's blonde hair. <laughs> it's not about attraction. It's about um, what God gives you. And I know it's a really horrible sort of saying. And most people <clears throat> from my generation know this one. You, um, you get what you're given. You eat what you're given. You eat everything off your plate. You bet. Well, are you... You eat a bit of everything is what the vagabonds do outside the city. They're the ones that go to the banquet. So if you're watching this, you're eating a bit of everything. Because that's really what the Holy Spirit does. Um, you're not limited. You're um, outside. Like the apostle said that all things are permissible for one, those for overcomers. They are. It's his way of saying you can turn anything up. Anything's redeemable. But um, not all things are, you know, advantageous. Like, I'm not never going to... I don't need to say my cigarettes are. But they're permissible for me just because of the will of the Lord. Because I know it. And I know when he's going to do what he's going to do. And I don't want to go ahead of him. I'm on a giveaway, remember? This is a giveaway. Well, that's when most things happen, isn't it? When you let the Holy Spirit do it. So I suppose it's making sense. Why I'm so busy, I hardly got any concrete in today. So the um, thumbnail is important and so is the link. Remember, we've only just begun.